Dear uh, ladies and gentlemen, dear uh, guests, um, a very warm welcome uh, to this uh, afternoon uh, session. It's uh, on behalf of Philips uh, Lighting Research, as well as the whole uh, symposium uh, committee, uh, with uh, Inrex Heinrichs uh, uh, being an important uh, member of that uh, committee sitting in, uh, in the front row of this audience, I would like to welcome you to the 2016 Holst uh, Symposium. The symposium that uh, precedes uh, the lecture that will be given at four by uh, Dr. Watson. Um, who I would like to give a very special word of uh, welcome uh, to this uh, VM meeting. Um, because the, the Holst Memorial Lecture, as I mentioned before, will start at uh, four in this afternoon, and I'm very much uh, looking forward to that, uh, to that lecture. It's always a, a pleasure to be at these uh, Holst uh, Lectures. There's a long history of uh, Holst Lectures that we have. This year is already the 40th uh, lecture that we will have, so I'm really looking forward to it. The lecture will be entitled, The Windows of Visibility. Um, lighting uh, research and uh, at many applications that we have is one of the research areas at our university. Actually, we have the Intelligent Lighting Institute uh, that really addresses all these uh, topics. Uh, to, to stress the, uh, the history of the very close collaboration that we have with this university and uh, Philips, uh, Philips Lighting uh, in, in particular, uh, we actually will have a, a, a two-part uh, opening uh, session of this uh, meeting. Um, Basically, uh, I will give the word to uh, Kees van der Klauw. Uh, he's the uh, Senior Vice President of Philips Lighting, and uh, he will uh, take the second part of this opening. I have to rush away, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, I'm in the middle of the board meeting. I just could step out for a few minutes. So I, I apologize for not being here during this uh, symposium, but I will be back at 4 o'clock. Yeah? Kees. Thank you, uh, Frank. Uh, you already mentioned this is good cooperation. Um, and the whole symposium uh, is not only the, the whole lecture, uh, actually there's uh, usually a rich program preceding it. And this morning we were already pleased to have a rich variety of presentations in the Iliad uh, conference, where I, I think you have, even though you work in lighting, I think you all have been amazed with the breadth of lighting today, uh, from, from optics, from fundamentals, to applications and cloud and data. And it's all modern lighting. Yeah. Uh, as you know, the symposium uh, and the lecture itself are named in uh, honor of uh, Dr. Gilles Holst. Uh, Gilles Holst was uh, 102 years ago the founding father of uh, Philips Research. And already at that time, uh, research in lighting and uh, research in how people perceive lighting was, uh, was actually very, very relevant. Uh, and Holst, uh, in the beginning of, uh, of the 20th century, Dr. Holst played a key role in the discovery of uh, superconductivity. So you could say uh, his, his work at that time was already pretty relevant for this cool event that we have today. Um, Gilles Holst will of course be remembered as the founding member of the Not Lab, but he was also active uh, as a chairman in two committees that prepared for the foundation of the Eindhoven University uh, in 1956. And Holst was also a stimulating force behind cooperation with industry, academia, and society. And nothing is more relevant than this corporation today. Yeah, the unique opportunity we have with Eindhoven University, Eindhoven City, to work together in smart city projects where lighting plays a key role, is very much in line with the thoughts of uh, Gilles Holst. Uh, and you could say that Gilles Holst was the founding father of Brainport, and the whole idea about Brainport uh, was already in those days. Um, without further ado, I will not keep you uh, any longer, and I would like to give back the floor to the, the, the chairman of the symposium, uh, Professor Hendricks, and she will introduce the speakers, and I wish you a very pleasant and learningful, meaningful afternoon.